I got into real estate kind of out of a out of necessity maybe I was like all right I want to continue to coach basketball but I don't want to be in the classroom I can do this real estate thing it gets slower in the winter time my dad was already in the real estate business so he can kind of help cover me a little bit if I get busy and it conflicts with basketball but I got into real estate really to coach basketball wow and, nice. and I was really fortunate to within the first 30 days of the real estate industry I was introduced to um the concept of how to run your business by referral and not do the traditional sales techniques that are out there. And, you know, this is a time in real estate. So this is 2006 where real estate was really kind of searching for an identity. And for all the years before real estate uh, professionals were the keepers of all the information. Like if, they had these, and Jim probably remembers this because he's old, but they had these MLS books, right? And you, yeah, and the real estate agent had the MLS book. And the only way you really knew it was on the market is if you went to the real estate professional who had the MLS book. Well, you know, 2006, we started to see online, things become more and more accessible online. And really, my real estate career has kind of uh, gone right alongside all of the um, influx of the artificial intelligence in the real estate business. So I like, for example, and I'm, I'm going off on a tangent. So if you have a question, okay. stop me. Yeah. so for example, in 2008, there was about, there was about $30 million spent by real estate agents on online lead generation and online lead generation tools. And now we're in the billions of dollars of what real estate agents spend on that. And you would think that that's, that, oh, it's obvious that, you know, if I want to go find my realtor, I go, I go search online and, and people who do that know what that's like because you're going to in inquire about a house and you're going to get about 45 phone calls and text messages and emails and it's, you feel like, you know, they're just coming at you like a bunch of sharks. But the, the funny thing is, in 2008, when there was only about $30 million spent on online lead generation, 9% of people found their realtor online. And today, when there's billions of dollars spent, 9% of people find the realtor they use online. However, more people today are using a realtor than ever before. So you know what that says to me? And this goes back to what I see maybe in, in your story of your background is you kind of, we always talk about there's two lines that people stand in in their lives. And it's kind of like if we were going to a movie theater and there's two different movies playing is you were standing in the, um, in the reassuring lie line that, Hey, I'm going to go back to the high school that I, that I went to. I'm going to get a job. I'm going to have a pension. I'm going to do these things. I'm going to coach basketball, which is my passion. And that's what I have to do if I want to coach basketball. And then something happened and you had this aha moment in this epiphany at 30 and said, wait a minute, if I own my own business, control my own destiny, control my own calendar, I could do basketball and all these things opened up to you. And at the same time, you started to get into the Buffini mindset of referrals and how to act differently and break out of that. And maybe, maybe talk a little bit about that. Yeah. So 2006, you know, the real estate market was still on, it was on the upswing, but it was coming down. Right. So people talk about that. I got in real estate, like the worst possible time. And, and it really started to um, manifest itself really clearly because, you know, I dedicate myself. So I've just to be clear, I have never in my 12 years in the real estate business, I've ever closed a, an internet lead. Okay. Just want to make sure that that's out there. Every 99% um, of my stuff has been by referral only. And when I got, when I saw the value of um, really the way that my, I, my, my dad, before he got in the real estate business, um, worked for a car dealership in town. We actually were the oldest Lincoln Mercury dealership in the entire United States. And so my grandfather, my mom's father, owned the car dealership. And my grandfather had been teaching me how to work by referral mm. his entire life, but I just didn't realize it until I started getting the real estate business. I mean, he would have he would have people come hundreds and hundreds of miles to buy cars from his dealership because of the way that they were treated and they were treated like family and they weren't really necessarily sold to, but they were put in the best situation for them uh, that they need to be in. And meanwhile, we know the car industry is full of salespeople who are just trying to get a, a check and do it the uh, most profitable way possible. And if they can upsell you into something else, they're going to do it. And, 
And so it was very countercultural at that time. Well, real estate was the same thing when I got into it. And the idea of working by relationship and really serving the need of, need of a client and on the transactional and the emotional side was not something that was very well, you know, it was not very popular. You know, it, it was a find them, police them, forget them kind of mindset. And in some ways it still is. It's just now it's done digitally. 